we're given an angle in the second quadrant, so rotated through to the second quadrant, like so, theta. And we know that sine theta equals 4 fifths. We want to find what cosine of theta is. So we know that sine theta, this height here, is 4 fifths. But we want to find what cosine theta is. Okay. So we can use the first trigonometric identity of 1 equals cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta. And this gives us a relationship between sine and cosine, and then we can just solve for cosine. Okay, so we have 1 equals cosine squared theta plus this squared, so 4 over 5 squared. Great. So now we can just solve for cosine. 1 equals cosine squared theta. This is 16 over 25. I can subtract that from both sides and I get cosine squared theta is 9 over 25. Now I want to find cosine theta. So I just take the square root of both sides. So we have cosine theta is the square root of this. So the square root of 9 over the square root of 25. The square root of 9 is 3. The square root of 25 is 5. And since it's a square root and it's in the second quadrant, we could get a positive or a negative answer. So cosine is positive or negative 3 fifths. Um, and there are two options here, positive or negative 3 fifths. So it could be G or H in this case. So the square roots give us a positive or a negative 3 fifths. But since it's in the second quadrant, we want this length here. So we want the negative 3 fifths. So the answer is negative 3 fifths.